Vlogmas. Uh, I'm just, I'm just cross-stitching. Hello. Um, this is what I'm working on. Here we go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more for you. No one. So yeah, this is uh, a stocking that I'm making. It's not going to say Olivia. It's going to say Agnes. Um, and so this is what I'm, <laughs> it's my current project that I have been kind of picking away at for the last bit. Um, not really with any sort of urgency. As soon as I realized, sorry, the heater just kicked in. As soon as I realized that I wasn't going to be able to finish it in time for this Christmas, I kind of started slacking again. Um, I thought I was making progress and then I did the math and I was like, yep, nope, not at all. Um, okay, so this is, yeah, it's a stocking, it's a cross stitch stocking, it's got cute little polar bears on it and little cardinals and I bought a kit. I don't usually, like, uh, pretty much I usually do like a make your own, oh, am I frame? I usually use like some software to turn like a photo into a pattern. Let's see if I have that candy. I'm working on, yeah, here. This is another project of mine that I'm working on with the, um, I turned a photo of our dog into a cross stitch pattern, so that's what it's looking like so far. Uh, we can kind of see his ears there. Um, so that's what I usually do for cross stitch patterns, but then the last one I finished, which I did show you as well, I haven't shown it to you finished yet. Uh, is yeah cute for the nursery wall um this came from a book that i actually purchased oh, goodness i spent money on a pattern um and i thought that it would just be easier to do that this way um to just buy a kit it comes with all of the threads already the um the aida already and the pattern and all i had to do was um, use the alphabet on the back to write out her name and then just get started. So I am not very far along. Let's check through here, you can see. Um, this is what I've done so far is one cardinal, uh, some tree trunks, and part of another bird. Or no, actually that's not the bird. This is part of the um, the polar bear's scarf. So it's a slow laborious process. But also this is a technique I had never, I mean, it's not a breakthrough or anything, but I had never done the uh, half cross stitch like this before. You can see these stitches that I'm doing are only one direction. Um, you may be able to see that. People asked for zoomed, zoomy zooms. So here we go. I'm gonna try not to move out of frame. Um, these stitches are only half of the cross stitch instead of a full X. Uh, in comparison to these ones are a full X, if you can see. Um, and so this whole tree trunk is that way. And that's what I'm working on right now. Um, and with the cross stitch, you go uh, this way and then this way, and then you do the next row the same way. Um, with these, you go this way and then you go this way and then you go this way uh, if that makes sense which is just interesting and on the back it looks pretty tidy so that's cool I need to trim that edge and uh, I'm just making a little bit of progress I'm currently working with four strands of floss um, Sure, I'm counting right. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, and then one. Okay. Um, working with four strands of floss, uh, three of the light blue, and then one of the slightly less light blue. Because that's what it calls for in the pattern, obviously. So it's all, it's all new stuff, stuff that I would not have uh, thought of myself, probably. I guess that's how you learn new techniques. Uh, it's, uh, to do it this way. Uh, 
want to double and triple check that I'm putting these stitches in the right place. I really enjoy counted cross stitch. It's like a puzzle, you know, it's like a paint by numbers sort of a thing. So I never use a hoop. I don't know, somewhere I saw that you didn't need to and it's never really been a problem for me because it's pretty stiff fabric. So, there you go, I don't use a hoop. Uh, okay, I think I need to tie this off for now. There you go, I'll show you how you do the back. You don't do knots in cross stitch. Instead, you just sort of run it underneath what's already there. Um, kind of, you know, so that it goes flat. You don't want anything too bumpy. So I'm going to actually run it back and forth. I don't know I, if this technique is like kosher or not. There are different schools of thought, I'm sure. But my backs are prettier now than they used to be when I first started stitching so that's something just, you know, trim a little bit tighter too and oh nice tight there we go Let's see I think I will go ahead and skip the bird I'm going to count out loud since you're here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Nine between, and it's going to be one, two over. So the, the nice thing about these half cross stitches is that you can actually work backwards as well as forwards, or like from the bottom up. Since I started in the middle, I'm actually working from the bottom up instead of the top down, which is different but it works just as well with these all right so nine. so we've got here this put here one two one two three four five six seven eight nine so it'd be this one here Sticking your needle in makes the hole slightly bigger so you can kind of see it. And I'm just going to double check my count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two over again. Alright, go. Ooh, pulled that almost all the way through. Go. I tend to kind of work from the wrong side for the first couple of stitches so that I can make sure I'm anchoring everything in place properly. Let's see, I told you I wouldn't be in frame. But shout out to the people who asked me to zoom in more. I know that you were doing that on my bullet journal videos, but here we go. It's same applies. You can see what I'm doing. Of course, I didn't need to be there. Ah. I think I like the precision of counted cross stitch. I like um, how, like everything, all the stitches are exactly the same size. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. Um, and you know exactly like between which threads of the fabric you need to place your needle. Everything is uniform and precise. And tie this in a funny little knot on the back. Okay. Come on. There we go. I'm just going to finish a little bit more of this piece before I go. I really didn't have anything to talk about today. Like, usually in the past when I've done these sort of crafty, chatty videos where I'm like, hey, watch me knit, which you would think is pretty dull. Um, I have something to talk about. Today, all I'm talking about is cross-stitch. 
So shout out to my stitchers where you at. Um, yeah, tell me what you're working on in the comments below. I'm always curious. Um, are you making anything for Christmas this year or did you make anything for Christmas this year? Are you in a mad dash to finish any gifts before next week or whenever this goes out? Um, I have in the past done all kinds of handmade Christmas gifts. Not so much this year. This year I could barely even get everything ordered on Amazon in time. I don't know. And definitely not this stocking, though I do have hope that I will be able to work on it over the year um, and have it done by next year. But then I do know me, I've met me, and I also think that that might not be super feasible either. So we'll see. Um, three up. to keep checking them in frame. So I don't know how this lighting is, but you know what? If I just keep complaining about video quality all day, I'll never get any cross stitching then. Go. Look at that. There we go. Up one and two over. Is that right? Yep. All right. Yep. That's good enough for now. Look what we've accomplished so far today. We started. Where did I start? Here. I started here this evening and I've gotten this much done. So thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Until then, subscribe and have a good one. Bye.